Awesome, we're starting on our knees. So down in Vadrasana, rock pose we go. Or easy seated, if that's more comfortable, you're more than welcome to put the block under your, your butt. And let's just start with a few cleansing breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. Sigh it out. Two more. Noticing the muscles in our faces soften. And our shoulders start to melt away from the ears and allowing our breath to assume its natural rhythm. Noticing the rising and falling sensation of our chest and maybe our abdomen. Setting an intention for today's practice. Perhaps something we've been wrestling with all week that we need to create a little headspace in order to deal with or to manage. Or perhaps we just need a challenge of our muscles and our stability. Focus tonight will be on strength and stability. We'll do a couple of vinyasa flows generate a bunch of heat in our bodies. Bringing our awareness back to the sounds of the space around us, bringing our hands to heart center, palms are together, and we're just gonna slowly roll the hands, rolling the backs together, rolling one way or the other. No science to it. Get our wrists warmed up for our planks and down dogs. And focus today on our sun salutation seat. So some lunges and some planks. Let's switch directions, pressing away, rounding out. Interlacing the fingers, pressing the hands away parallel to the floor. Inhaling, we lift, arch the lower back. Exhale, bring the arms back parallel to the floor, rounding the chin to chest. Inhale, sinking the pelvis back, lifting the chest. Exhale, rounding forward, going to the rhythm of our breath as deeply as your body will allow as we slowly warm up the spine, the pelvis, and the arms. sides and this time up into a cactus inhaling squeezing the shoulder blades together exhale curling and giving ourselves a big hug inhaling opening up again lifting the heart exhaling hugging ourselves back in we're repeating this giving ourselves self-love Focusing on the compassion that we bring to ourselves tonight, making time and energy for ourselves. I am amazing. I am love. I am creative. Choosing an affirmation word that might resonate with you today. Maybe something you need to be reminded of. Bless you. Of the universe. And then we release 
set to neutral. Bringing our hands all the way back up on the inhale, grabbing onto the left wrist, the elongating coming into a side bend, so we're shifting the weight over to the left hip. Feeling the heaviness of our left side while we expand and elongate the spine, creating space in our ribcage. Deep breaths in. Inhaling back up, reaching tall, grabbing onto the right wrist and over to the left side. This time shifting the weight, feeling the heaviness of the right hip, the right knee. Elongating and reaching, deep breaths in. down in front of us, bringing our blocks to the sides of us, firmly planted on the floor. I'm going to rotate slightly so that you can all see me. The blocks are going to be at our knees, so right at our sides, the hands are going to be pressed on top of them, curling the toes underneath our shins. We'll take deep breaths in, elongating the spine. And on the exhale, we're pressing up into a forward fold. This may be as far as you can go on the first one. That's fine. Inhaling, we come back down. Elongate the spine. Exhale, pressing back up, up on the toes, straightening the legs as much as your body will allow. It's early in our practice, so we have time to warm up. Flowing through into our forward fold. And taking the weight off. Arching as you desire. Working the balls of the feet. Accentuating each pose as suits you today. to your speed as quickly or as slowly, as purposefully as you can. Let's do two more. Energy run down the back of our legs, into the calf muscles, into the ankles, and up on the toes. Come all the way back down when you're finished. Inhale up. Exhale, hands back down, all fours, flattening the feet behind us. Hands are directly under our shoulders, and the knees are stacked under the hips. We'll shift left to right. Finding grounding in our fingers, pressing all the fingertips into the mat, gripping, and then going in a circle, slowly shifting the weight over each wrist, sinking back into the heels, adding a little lateral flexion, maybe even bending the elbows, lowering the head, finding a flow that suits you, exploring the state of our bodies, noticing sensations as we travel through. Switching directions. Finding a flow that suits you in this direction. Noticing again the sensations. Perhaps feeling a little bit different going in this direction. 
might be a new pattern for your body. Go with it. We're creating new patterns, new neural pathways in our brains. Clearing a little bit of blockage today. Stagnant air, energy, and emotions. One more circle. Good. And then we'll all meet up neutral, keeping our blocks to the sides of us. This time a little bit higher, I'd suggest we use them for our lunges as well as our forward folds. Curling our toes underneath our shins, deep breaths in, and on the exhale we lift the pelvis up, reaching up to the sky into our down dog. Go ahead and pedal out for a few moments, our first down dog. Once again, stretching out the back of our legs, noticing what sensations and energy we may be hanging on to. Letting our heads hang heavy, the spine is long. Pressing through the ankles, one heel pressing into the mat at a time as we lift and bend one knee. Go ahead and lift one foot, give it a little wiggle, wiggling the ankle around in circles. Now extend that leg as high up as you can. Pressing into the opposite heel. Pressing the knee towards the back of the room. Good, lower that foot. Lift the opposite leg off the ground. Wiggle the ankle a little bit, both circles, both directions. Then go ahead and extend that leg high. Pressing the ankle and the heel towards the mat, the opposite leg. Pressing into the hands. Now we lower that foot back down to the mat. Great. Pedal it out one more time. Both heels towards the mat. Bending one knee, alternating and swing. Shifting our weight to left to right. Excellent. Lifting our right leg all the way off the mat on the inhale. Gazing forward, tucking our right knee into the chin, stepping into our first lunge, using our hands on the blocks as needed. Inhaling, lifting the arms all the way up. Holding here. Exhale, forward fold. Bring the left foot in to meet the right. Forward fold, up. In an inversion, first one, inhale, flat back, torso is parallel to the floor. Use those blocks if you need. Lift the blocks a little bit top, taller if that helps to elongate the spine. Let's get our positioning. Good. Shins, knees, thighs are fine as well. Good. Inhale, we swan dive all the way up. Extended mountain. Holding here. Deep breaths in. On the next exhale, we swan dive forward, cactus in the arms back, down into forward fold, all the way, bending the knees as needed. Inhale, halfway flat back, pressing against the block, shins, thighs. Good. Exhale, forward fold, we step back once again with the left foot, lunge. Inhale, arms come over the shoulders. Deep breaths in, pressing the left thigh muscle back. Squeezing the quadricep, lifting the left knee. Exhale, forward folding here, stepping into a plank. Good. Torsos are parallel to the floor, shoulders are over top of the arms. Wrapping the elbows forward, we'll slowly lower down into Chaturanga. All the way down, we flatten our feet. Inhaling up into baby cobra, gentle back bend. Good. Exhale, back down. Curling the toes under, lifting into a kneeling plank. Perfect. Full plank, down dog. 
Well done, you've done your first round. Paddle it out, let's rinse what we did on that leg. Neck is heavy and long. Good, on the next inhale, we lift our left leg all the way off the mat. Gazing forward, we stack through into a lunge with the left leg. When you find your stability, inhale, lift the arms over the shoulders. We'll hold here for a couple breaths. Pressing the right knee away, flexing the quadriceps. Finding the grounding of our left foot. Forward folding here, bringing our right foot up to meet. Hanging heavy, bending the knees as needed. Halfway, flat back in here. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, we swoop our arms all the way up, extended mountain. Exhale, hands to heart. Well done. Taking a breath in between. Inhale, hands all the way up. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, halfway flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Stepping once again back with the right leg. High lunge, inhaling, bringing our arms over our shoulders. Pressing the right leg back. Good, find your stability grounding of the left foot. Feeling the hip flexor of the right leg. Gentle back bend. Exhale. Coming forward. Planting the hands. Stepping into our plank. Feet are together. Hands are underneath the shoulders. Wrapping the elbows forward. Chaturanga. Hold here for a breath if your body allows. Lowering all the way down. Cobra. Squeezing the glutes. Protecting the lower, lower back. Good, lower back down. Kneeling plank or full plank. And down dog. Well done, we finished round one. Come on down into a child's pose in between. Walking the hands out, sinking the hips back. Stay high for this first one. And we'll shift our weight left to right. Warming a little bit more into the hips. Of course, you're welcome at any time to come into a still child's pose, yogi's choice. Right. On the next inhale, we rise back into all fours. Curling the toes under the shins, coming up into down dog on the exhale. Taking a reset breath here. And on the next inhale, we lift our right leg off the mat. Gazing forward, coming up on the toes of the left foot, stepping into our lunge. Inhaling, bringing our arms over our shoulders. Good, find the stability, grounding of the right foot this time. Rotate open over the lunge leg, looking over the right shoulder. Deep breaths here. Good, next inhale, we rotate back, reaching the arms all the way up. Hinge forward, stepping into forward fold, bringing the left foot into meet the right. Inhale, flat back. Forward fold, inhale, swoop the arms all the way up. Hands to heart. Deep breath in between. Inhale, we reach up. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, halfway flat back. Exhale, forward fold, stepping back into our lunge once again. Left foot comes back. Inhale, we reach all the way up. Exhale, we rotate. Couple of breaths here. Find the firm grounding of the right foot, strong calm of the left leg, pressing the left quadricep back, elongating the spine. Good, inhale, arms up. Exhale, hinge forward, stepping into our plank. 
This time, let's lower the knees, lowering our chest and our chin. Very good. Practicing the placement of our arms. Leading with the tailbone, we're going to flow into a plank. Good. Well done. <laughs> Down dog. Woo. And we'll shift our rake here left to right. Now we're going to repeat the same flow on the left side. So next, inhale, we lift our left foot off the ground. Coming up on the balls of the right foot, we gaze forward, we step through with the left foot, lunge. Finding our stability, lifting our arms, reaching all the way up, inhale. Good. On the next exhale, we lower the arms, rotating our torsos, looking over the left shoulder, pressing the right leg back. Deep breaths in. Good. Inhale, we reach up, rotating back to center. Exhale, hinge forward, stepping up into our forward fold. Heads are hanging heavy. Inhale, halfway back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, swooping all the way up. Exhale, hands down. Taking a deep breath in between. Pressing dynamic tension through the palms. Inhale, press up. Exhale, swan diving forward. Inhale, halfway flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Stepping back this time with the right leg. Back into our high lunge. Inhale, lifting the arms. When you're ready, go ahead and rotate, lowering the arms, looking over the left shoulder. Deep breaths here. Check in with the sensations of the body, energy that's coursing through, and the heat that we're generating. Next, inhale, we come back to center, lifting our arms. Exhale, hinge forward, stepping back into our plank. Once again, we lower the knees, this time wrapping the elbows forward, lowering the chest and the chin to the mat. Deep breath. Flowing back up into a plank, leading with the pelvis. Good. From here, let's go straight into our child's pose, opening the knees a little bit wider, sinking the hips back towards the heels, finding stillness or moving, depending on what you need at this point in your practice. Check in with the breath. Great. On the next inhale, we come all the way back into all fours, bringing the hands back under our shoulders, knees under our hips. Deep breaths in, curling the toes under the shins, exhaling, we come back into down dog. We'll do one more round with each leg. On the next inhale, we lift our right leg off the mat. Coming up on the toes on the left foot, stepping all the way through lunge. Very good. Inhaling, reaching our arms up. Bringing our hands to heart center here. Option to rotate over the right leg. Pressing the left arm into the knee, looking up over the right elbow. Fun grounding in the right foot, the ball of the left, pressing the left leg back. Engage the left quadricep, finding somewhere to gaze at. Opening up the arms as possible. And bring the arms back to prayer. Inhale, lifting them all the way over the shoulders. Exhale, hinging forward, coming up into our forward fold. Repositioning the feet, maybe. 
Inhale, halfway flat back. Exhale, fold it forward. Inhale, swooping all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart, taking a deep breath in. Yay for that. Inhale, swoop up. Exhale, swan diving forward. Stepping back again with that left foot, high lunge. Once again, you are welcome to come into a prayer twist, a rotation, or hold. Find a lunge that suits you. Checking in with your stability from ground up. Exhale, bring the hands back to heart center. Inhale, lifting as we center. Exhale, hinging forward, stepping into our plank. Wrapping the elbows forward. Come all the way into chaturanga. Flatten the feet, upward facing dog. Squeezing the glutes, protecting the lower back. Deep breaths in. Exhale, back to plank. Deep breath here, and into our dumbbell. Good, rinse that out. Pedaling the feet, shifting the weight. We're gonna do the left side, finish off this round. Well done, yogis. You know what to expect now. We exhale all of our expectations and judgment. We honor the state of our body and the imbalances we may have on one side over the other. You know, yoga is a journey and keep practicing because it keeps evolving. On the next inhale, we lift our left leg off the mat, gazing forward, coming up on the right toes, stepping through. Find your way into your high lunge. Inhale, lifting the arms over the shoulders. As and when you're ready, you are welcome to come into a prayer twist, rotation, or hold. Finding your stability and grounding, finding somewhere to gaze at, creating a little extra flexibility in the spine and the hips. Next inhale, we bring our hands back to center, rotating, lifting over the shoulder. Hinging forward, stepping up into our forward fold. Hanging heavy. Inhale, halfway flat back. Forward fold. Inhale, swooping all the way up, hands into extended mountain. Exhale, hands to heart, take a deep breath in between. And we repeat, last time, inhaling up. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, halfway flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Once again, stepping back with the right foot, high lunge. Inhale, lifting the arms, rotating, or prayer twist as you feel comfortable. Yogi's choice. Inhale, bring the hands back to heart center. We rotate back to the center. Inhale, lift the arms all the way up. Exhale, hinging forward. Stepping into our plank. Ha. Lowering all the way down into chaturanga. Try to hold for one breath. Option, upward facing dog, cobra. Good, stepping into plank. Down, up, and lowering all the way down into child's pose. Taking a moment here to catch our breath, to recover, to start integrating what we've just done. Our Surya Namaskara C. Now that we've generated some heat, 
to come into a couple of longer poses to develop a little additional flexibility. And working on our elasticity and plasticity, which we only do when we're fully warmed up. Inhaling, coming all the way back into all fours. Curling the toes under. Going to down dog, we'll do a, a plank down dog flow. Work a little bit on the strength of our abdomen at the same time. Lifting our right leg off the mat on the inhale. Coming into a plank on the exhale, bringing our right knee to our right elbow. Inhale, extend the right leg back. Repeat, exhale, coming into our plank, right knee to right elbow. Repeat. Going to the flow of your breath, your strength. Coming at any time, coming back to a recovery pose of down dog or child's pose. We will meet you there. No competition, no expectation. We do our best. Working on our ab strength while creating a little additional flexibility in the back of our left leg. Good job. One more breath, one more movement, one more breath of hold, whichever you're doing and we lower the right leg. Yay, go ahead and rinse that out. And we'll do the same thing with the left side. On the next inhale, we lift the left leg off the mat. Left elbow on the exhale plank. And repeat, extend, pressing the right heel into the mat. Finding your flow to the rhythm of your breath. Creating length in the back of the right leg and strength in the abdomen. back into down dog and lowering once again into child's pose. Yay for that. Right. Taking a sip of water anytime you might need. Go ahead and walk the hands over to the right side. As far as you can, elongate the torso on the inhale. Exhale, we lower the torso over the right knee. Creating space for our bellies, our breasts, our breath. Not compressing into our bellies here. But getting a stretch of the lower back and the left side body. Walking the hands around to the left side. Elongating on the inhalation. And on the exhalation, we lower back down. Breathing into the right side body and the lower back. Allowing the head to hang heavy. And inhale, we walk the hands back to center. Go ahead and bring the forehead down to the mat or down to your block. Bringing the hands behind our back, interlacing and lifting, rolling the shoulder blades in towards the spine. Uh, 
going to stack the hands over top of the back, opening up the chest and the upper arms, getting a stretch of the wrists at the same time. And go ahead and lower the arms, rolling the shoulders towards the mat, bringing our hands underneath our torsos, pressing ourselves up on the inhale, back into all fours. Once again, finding our blocks close by, just in case. Coming into all fours, on the exhale, we'll press up into our down dog one more time. <sighs> Inhaling, lifting the right leg off the mat, stepping into a lunge with the right leg, this time with the blocks to our sides. We're gonna do a revolved side angle, pressing the right hand into our block or onto the floor on our fingertips, bringing the left hand to our sacrum. We want to keep the hips square to the mat. So we've found a power lunge here. Option is to open up and rotate the spine. If you feel comfortable to lift the left arm, you are welcome to. Not mandatory. Of course, you can lower down if you're hips feel flexible enough, go right ahead, maybe even play with the height of the block. Pivoting the back foot into a warrior stance, go ahead, lift the left arm, pressing the torso upwards, maybe on the fingertips, drawing the shoulder blade back as if our back was against a wall. Feeling an opening of the left side body, strength of both legs. You're welcome to lift the right arm if you'd like. We're planted on the ground. Breathing deeply here. Strong calm for calm strength. Good. Come all the way up into a reverse warrior. Maintaining our lunge to the position of our legs, reaching back, staying in the side body at the right. Deep breaths in, expanding the container of our ribcage. Now, hinging forward, straightening the front leg, triangle pose, option to lift the arm over top, option to bring the arm behind the back. Trying to find a position for that right arm, you are welcome to find some stability and support of the leg or the block, but we want to remain in that side body to create strength. Elongating the torso, arm could even come over the head. Parallel to the floor, finding a position for the arm that feels most comfortable for you today. Breathing deeply. Looking good. Two more breaths. Rotating the left arm down, bending the right knee, stepping back into our down dog. Taking a breath in between. Pressing both heels back towards the mat. On the next inhale, we lift our left leg off the mat. Gazing forward, we step into our lunge, finding our blocks on either side. Strong lunge here, starting in our power lunge, lifting the arms off. And then when you're ready, go ahead and try a rotation if that feels comfortable for you today. Drawing the right shoulder blade back towards the spine, trying to keep the hips square to the mat. Deep breaths. Finding somewhere to gaze at. Good. Plant the right foot, pivoting it into our warrior foot. This time opening up the right side, possibly stacking the arm over the body, possibly wrapping it behind the back. Or over the head. 
whatever feels most comfortable. Good. Next inhale, we rise up into reverse warrior. Rotating the palm, reaching back, remaining in our side body. Good, strong lunge. Deep breaths, expanding and creating space between the ribs and the side body. Straightening the front leg, we come into pyramid triangle here, sorry. Finding a position for that left arm, supported as needed. The right arm can be stacked over top of the body, wrapped behind, or again, reaching over. Staying in the side body, bringing the pelvis forward with the glutes engaged, pressing forward. One more breath. Bending the left knee, we rotate the upper arm. Planting both hands, stepping back into down dog. Good, pedal the feet out. Stepping forward with whichever foot, it doesn't matter. We're going to come into a goddess squat here. So both feet are wide. Positioning ourselves in goddess squat. Tucking the pelvis underneath us. Go ahead and reach the arms up on the inhale. Making fists, we're going to draw the elbows in and exhale. Inhale up. Exhale out, some cleansing breaths here. Moving some of that stagnant energy, emotion, any cobwebs that we have in our thoughts and our emotions. Gentle inversion, coming up, rocking on the foot, on the toes and the heels. Or if it feels better, just to plant the feet, go right ahead. Finding stability if you need to walk the feet out, that's fine. and plant the left hand right underneath the face and open up the right arm above the body. Gentle rotation, pressing into the left hip flexor, the groin. Maybe feeling this wrapping around the lower back. Be gentle while creating a bit of extra flexibility in the left side. Lowering the right hand, placing it where the left was, opening up the left side. Pressing into the earth, bringing flexibility to the right side, the groin, the hips, the lower back. And back to center. Coming back into our goddess squat, we're going to do our cleansing breaths one more time, enabling us to be fully present, engaged, showing up for ourselves and our practice on the exhale, bringing the arms down, cleansing breath for our thoughts, our emotions, 
and the air inside of our bodies. We are fierce, we are driven and determined, strong and present. One more. Hands on the hips, extend up, forward fold, hinging in the hips, point in the toes forward. This time bringing the right hand to the left side, left ankle, shin, knee, whatever. You're welcome to put the left hand on the sacrum looking up towards the left, maybe feeling a little bit more intensity of the left buttocks and hamstring. Breathe the leg long, breathe into this pose, creating more flexibility with our bodies warm. Good. Inhale back to center and reach the left hand over to the right side, shin, ankle, or thigh. Bringing the right hand to the sacrum, if that feels stable for you. Deep breaths in, breathing the right side long. Inhale back to center. Well done. Let's lower all the way down one knee at a time. We're coming all the way down onto our backs, taking a sip of water in between as desired. Or a towel. Okay. Good. Bringing ourselves all the way down one vertebrae at a time, shoulders, neck, and head. Good. We're going to inhale, reach the arms over our heads, extending them as long as possible, arching the lower back, deep breaths in. On the next exhale, we're going to bring our right knee into our chest, hugging it in with the arm. Inhale, we extend the arms and legs. Exhale, bringing the left knee in, hugging. Inhale, extend arms and legs, finding a flow that suits us. Good meditative flow here, cleansing movements, warming our breath, clearing cobwebs, on each side. Good. And when you finish that side, go ahead and hug both legs in, curling the head off the mat, rolling side to side. Massaging the lower back and spine as comfortable. We're planting the feet hip width apart and windshield wipering the legs left and right. Rolling on the sides, the feet. Opening the arms, expanding them to the sides. 
to maybe adding in a head roll to the opposite side, the knees lower. Inhaling back to center. Exhaling, rotating side to side. Going to your speed, gentle on the lower back. Noticing the sensations in the hips and the low back. One more on each side. And then go ahead and stack the legs, eagle legs, twisting to one side, head goes to the opposite, heel toeing the foot out to be in alignment with the hip as needed as feels most comfortable on the lower back while getting a nice deep stretch. Possibly feeling this running from the low back, even the spine through to the knee. in with our breath. Taking a moment to let go of what doesn't serve us. Inhaling new energy and curiosity. And let's come back to center. Untwist the legs, stacking the opposite over top. And then go ahead and rotate to the other side. Head comes to the opposite direction. Deep breaths in. Taking a moment to reflect on any intention we may have set at the beginning of our practice. Inhale, we'll come back to center. Untwine the legs, bringing them once again into a hug, this time with knees wider, perhaps towards the armpits, holding on to the knees, the shins, and the bottoms of the feet. Happy baby, as you like. Maybe it's the inner thighs you want to just let open. Perhaps it's the thigh muscles, hamstrings. Any final movements you feel like doing before we come into our final Shavasana. And when you're ready, go ahead and extend the legs long, bringing the hands by our sides, palms are facing up. Allow the legs to fall open naturally. Taking a few deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. Enjoy the moment of having stopped. Feeling the contact of our bodies pressing into the mat below us. Feeling the support of the earth. Knowing that we are supported. And that we can always come back to our breath as our guide. And with smiles on our faces, giving thanks for the opportunity to practice, giving thanks for this incredible and supportive community. We give thanks for our bodies strength within us, our determination to come to the mat and to continue practicing. And I welcome you to give thanks for anything somebody, somebody may have said or done for you in recent days that put a smile on your face and heart. Be 
you, filled with gratitude and compassion, not only keeps us healthy and happy, but it allows our light to shine through to others. Bringing a little bit of movement back to our ankles and our wrists. Drawing our knees back up, curling into a little ball, rolling up onto our side. And pressing ourselves back up, coming back to the space around us. Thank you very much for joining me.